Once you pop, you can't stop. You can say the same thing about the Imagination Station here. I'm with Carl Nelson, the chief scientist. He's got Pringles, so we're all going to be hungry in a moment, and I'm hungry right now. What, what are you doing with these Pringles? So I was in the grocery store. I saw the Pringles, and these are like, some of these are screaming jalapeno, screaming dill pickle. I thought, what could you do that would be fun with Pringles and maybe some explosive gases? This is what it's like to go grocery shopping with a scientist. <laughs> what can you do? So what I've got here, I took a Pringle scan. It's empty, okay? There's no, no chips in there. Um, but I made a tiny hole at the top. So here's what I think we want to do. I've got some hydrogen gas. We're going to fill this with hydrogen gas. Um, and there's a stopper right there. That's going to be important for you. Put your safety glasses on because we've got a flammable gases here. Yep. I'm going to fill this with gas. You're going to put that thing on top. We're going to put it on top of here. And then I'll tell you what happens when we get to that point. <laughs> You're going to tell me what happens uh, I'll tell after you. it happens. After, after it happens, yeah. Excellent. So let's go ahead and do this. So I've got my gas here. What I want to do is make sure that I fill this up with all hydrogen. Hydrogen is lighter than air. So some of it's going to flow out the top. Mm -hmm. What I want you to do, Tony, is take that cork and go ahead and put it on top. OK, now we're going to make sure that we fill this whole thing up with the hydrogen gas. So you had to let it out a little bit. I wanted to let the oxygen out so we have a pure hydrogen atmosphere inside there, which I think, I think we do, because we used up the whole balloon. OK. OK, so now, very carefully, we're just going to set this on top of the chips. It's the jalapeno Hindenburg. Well. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Oh, we're gonna boy. we're gonna find out. We really here. don't know. We're doing this as the first time. Oh, okay. Man. So, so what we're gonna do? I'm. You know. I think I'll give you. The, no. Great. I'll yeah. give you the lighter. Yeah. Oh, you do it. You do it. Perfect. So what I want you to light that up right now. Okay. And I, don't do it yet. But yeah. I'm gonna remove this. You quickly bring that over and then put the lighter down. Okay. All right. So get ready. Get a little bit closer. Okay. okay. And here we go. Light it. Okay. Now. There's a tiny, closer I, no, over here. No, no, no. no. <laughs> There's a tiny little flame on the top. As sure. we burn off the hydrogen, the uh, gas inside, no, we burn off hydrogen, okay. right? It's lighter than air. That flame is going to get smaller and smaller and smaller. And at some point, some point it's going to drop down inside. Pop goes the Pringles. Pop goes the Pringles and wow. launch the can up into the air. I actually have a ringing in my ear. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty loud. So. Um, <laughs> Should we try that again? No. Now that, now that you know what to expect, <laughs> come on, let's do it. Here, um, I'm going to hold this. And so what's really cool there is that the hydrogen gas, which is lighter than air, begins to flow upward. And as it exits the container, mm -hmm. um, grab a stopper over here. We're going to yeah, do the same sure. deal. Now, my question is, do the chips have anything to do with they this? They do, yeah. Oh, okay. OK, so stop, stop that, stop her, stop stopper. stop her. OK, so we're going to get the hydrogen in there. What the chips are actually doing is they're providing a smaller opening at the bottom of the can so that the can travels higher. They're the popper blocker. A little bit, yeah. yeah. If we did this without the can, without the Pringles there, the can has such a big opening that it just kind of goes poomp, and it doesn't really like launch very high. So you know, the other challenge could be, you know, can Tony Giftus capture the screaming pink Pringles can no. in the air? No, he can't. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll try that. Maybe okay. on the way down, but right. I'm going to cover my ears this time. <laughs> you, you, light it, you light it up, <laughs> okay. and I bring it over. Yeah. And okay. okay, again, hydrogen gas lighter than air flowing out of the can. Okay. As that hydrogen gas leaves, oxygen flows in through the bottom. When we have such a little bit of hydrogen in the top that the flame drops down inside, we get a combustible mixture inside the can, which launches the can up in the air. I got it. You I got, got it. it. All right. Nice. I'm not the only one. There are people behind the camera that are holding their ears closed <laughs> as well. It's pretty loud. So what do we learn here? Um, you know, you can find science anywhere. You can find science in a can of Pringles. <laughs> you know, especially if you combine an explosive gas with it. Yeah. I, I do probably have to say, don't try this at home. Right. Let's um, say these. that. But can you eat these? Are they sure? Are go they ahead. Still, give, right. give it a try. Well, all right. Then we're going to eat some Pringles and keep <laughs> popping these. If you want to come down to the Imagination Station and watch a trained professional experiment with Pringles, then you can certainly do so. Today is the day. Bring a kid down with you. That kid gets in free with a paid adult admission as long as one of you or both live in Lucas County. Exactly. Thanks Thanks very much, Carl. That's how you imagine it.